should I be wiping down everything with bleach? Adriana, there's been a lot of talk about this, whether it's different surfaces coming from different locations. Uh, what's the general rule of thumb here, Adriana? Yeah, so uh, basically when we get reader questions like this, we always hear either one or two things, either should we be wiping down our mail or wiping down every grocery item that we bring into the house, right? So let's start with mail. Um, usually most uh, mail packages are cardboard, uh, you know, and uh, cardboard is more porous, right? So that means that the virus can penetrate that surface a little more deeply so that a if you just wipe it off really quick or something like that, it just won't work that way. So really the, the, the basic answer is no, you don't have to wipe down your mail every time it comes through the door. What about um, groceries though? Groceries. So we're talking about surfaces, right? We're talking about cardboard versus plastic and whatnot. The general consensus about, like among experts, they tell me that you don't need to be wiping down every single thing that you bring into the house, that it's less likely, the virus is less likely to be viable to infect people um, on the way to the grocery store, on the way to your house, you know, all that interchangeability and all that time that it passes in the air, it's less likely to come into your house and actually infect you. So the general consensus there is also no, you don't have to be wiping down everything that you take into the house. However, I have heard a lot of people push against this idea. So I do want to say that it's also not harmful for you to do so. If you feel safer bringing in things and wiping them down, then that's fine. The only thing that I advise against is using any kind of soap or disinfectants with produce and vegetables because that can harm you if you ingest them. Yeah, I will say, uh, to be perfectly honest, in this household, when I go grocery shopping and I come back, usually the cans and some other things are wiped down. Dr. Jill, I, I guess if that makes me feel okay mm -hmm. still, it makes my girlfriend and I feel okay, we should continue to do that, but it's not necessary? Yeah, I agree with um, what Adriana is mentioning. So it's important that we remember the what we know right now, the main mode of transmission is through close contact from um, those respiratory droplets. You can get it from touching contaminated surfaces, which could mean grocery store um, cans or whatever you're buying there, but the likelihood is going to be much less than you're in the grocery store or in close contact with somebody. So again, it comes back to how long that virus stays on a particular surface, but also is it even possible then to transmit that virus from that surface to infect a new person? And, and that's going to be much less likely than in close human to human contact. So I agree with Adriana that it's not necessarily required, but if it makes you feel more comfortable, then that's completely fine as well. I would also, however, um, emphasize that washing your hands uh, after coming back from picking up your mail or after coming back from the grocery store and putting away your groceries is recommended. Can you disinfect the virus from a mask? Grace, we'll start with you. Yeah, so as you mentioned, Ralphie, we have a great graphics explainer on this topic. Many of us have this question, um, and that really depends on the type of mask that you have. First off, do not try to bleach your mask or cover it in Lysol. You would put yourself at risk of inhaling, in, inhaling very harmful chemicals. So if you have a cloth, a cloth mask or maybe something you made at home, the best way to disinfect it would be to put it in the washing machine. Or if you don't have access to a washing machine, wash it at home with uh, just some soap and water. If you have one of those face masks that you can't really wash with soap and water, put in the washing machine, one of the surgical face masks, um, you can put that in a brown paper bag and set that aside for a couple of days. That's enough time for to kill off the virus. Um, if you do happen to have an N35 respirator mask, many of us don't have a more medical grade, you could put that aside in a brown paper bag for seven days and that will also have the same effect. Grace, you keep mentioning brown paper bag. I want to bring in Dr. Jill here. Um, it, does it have to be a brown paper bag? Can it be a plastic container? Is there a difference? Why, why, why the specificity there? Yeah, that's a great point to make. It's really based on the limited data that we have about how long the virus may live on different surface types. So um, more breathable surfaces like a brown paper paper bag is going to be more uh, available to get rid of the virus than something like a plastic box or a plastic bag that won't be as breathable. So at the current time, recommendations are to put it into something like a brown paper bag that will allow the virus to um, be killed off and uh, not stick to those surfaces as readily.
Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, check out these other videos from USA Today to stay up to date with all the latest news.